Hello, welcome to SolidWorks Learning Channel. My name is Arma. In this playlist, we will introduce you the SolidWorks software environment in detail. In this course, we will use the latest version of software, SolidWorks Premium 2021 SP3. Please support the channel by subscribing. This video introduces the Welcome dialog box. Let's open the SOLIDWORKS. When you open SOLIDWORKS, the Welcome dialog box will be shown to you. And if you don't want it to be shown again at Startup, you can select Do not show on Startup option. The Welcome dialog box contains four tabs and a section where you can log in directly to your SOLIDWORKS account. In the Home tab, you will find four sections with a dialog box that gives you tips and hints about the software. With these arrows, you can see the next point. In the New section, you can create three types of documents, including part, assembly, drawing, and by selecting each of them, you will enter the relevant designed environment. Advanced option is for selecting your specific template. I will tell you in the next videos how to make a personal template for yourself. In the recent document section, you can see the most recent documents you designed. If you can see your document here or want to see more documents, click on view all to automatically redirect you to the recent tab document section. In this section, you can use filters to restrict the display of files to part, assembly, drawing, top-level assembly, or even the name of the file that you have saved. If you still cannot find the file you want, or if you want to import the file, you can use the Browse option. There is a Remove option here with two choices, All Items and Unpinned Items. All items delete all the files, but unpinned items delete only the files that you didn't pin. But how to pin a document? If you hover your mouse over a document, three options appears. One of them is pinning. If you click on Showing Folder, it will take you to the document storage pass. And if you click on these two small arrows, a larger window will appear about how to open the document, which varies depending on the file type. Clicking on open will execute the desired document. If you want to just check the file and don't want to change it, use the open read only choice. In the mood option, large design review is considered for quick review and lightweight mode only loads a subset of model data into the computer memory details will be loaded as needed and in resolve mode all information is loaded in detail it should be noted that the loading time in this mode is longer than the other modes in the configuration section, you can select the one that you created in the configuration manager that we will talk about it later. In the display states section, you can select the display states that you have already created for this file. If you click on References, all the files used to create this document 
will be displayed. You can use replace option to replace a component if needed. If you created a speed pack while designing, you can use it when opening the model. You cannot change this option if your configuration is set on advanced. If you unselect load hidden components, the parts you hid during design will not be loaded when you open the file. If your assembly is too large, this option will be activated automatically and opens this model for you with better performance. In the recent folder section, you have access to the folders in which your files are located and by clicking on view all, you will go to the recent tab folder section. You can see all the folders here. If you can't find your folder, you can use Browse option again. And Remove option is like Document section. From here, you can pin the folder you want. Open option in Home tab does the same thing as Browse in these two sections. In the Resources section, you will enter the SOLIDWORKS website through a browser by clicking on any of these icons and you will be informed of the latest news and software changes. Let's go to the Learn tab. Like any other software, SOLIDWORKS has a number of tutorials for beginners that you can access here. In the other tab, you will receive important SOLIDWORKS news that includes three sections, critical, troubleshoot, and technical alert, that you don't see critical section here. Critical section appears automatically, even if you have disabled the welcome dialog box in the startup. The news could be about fundamental changes in the software. Troubleshoot. You can select Troubleshoot option when your SOLIDWORKS is not responding or exits the program without saving and you will be aware of the results in this section. Technical alert will connect you to SOLIDWORKS website support if available. This was Welcome Dialog Box and how to use it. In the next video, we will talk about the software workspace in detail. Turn on the notification to be notified. Thanks for watching.